I'm Keith Pavelic, the Assistant Director of South Texas Natives at the Caesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Let's talk about the appropriate terminology to use when ordering seed from a commercial seed dealer, how to read the seed bag tags, and how to properly store your seed once you've received it from the dealer. The first thing I'd like to talk about is PLS, or Percent Live Seed. PLS is the percent of seed within a given quantity that is viable and will germinate when planted. For example, if you have this amount of seed with a PLS of 50%, only half of that seed will be viable when planted. Now let's look at some seed tags. Seed tags contain virtually all of the information you need to know when buying the product. On this tag will be things such as dormancy, which is the amount of seed that is viable but not going to actively germinate the first round. This can be advantageous because there may be long periods of drought and the seed will wait until later to germinate when hopefully conditions improve. Another item on the tag is germination. Germination is simply the percent of seed that is going to actively germinate given the right conditions. If we put the seed in this bag out today, it says the germination is 31%. So 31% of this seed should germinate given adequate rainfall after planting. Another tag that will be included is this green tag from the Texas Department of Agriculture, certifying that the seed has been tested, improved in South Texas. This tag should state Texas State Certified Germplasm and include the grower, variety, weight in pounds, PLS that was purchased. This tag will ensure that you bought South Texas native variety seeds tested and proven to work in South Texas. Another tag you may commonly find is the South Texas native tag. Seed companies are including this to let the consumer know that these varieties were selected and released by the South Texas Natives Project. Now that we've covered some of the terminology, let's look at a few of these seeds you might purchase and where they will go in the seed drill. The front row contains fluffy seeds that will be used in the chaffy seed box on a native seed drill. This means the type of box that is specifically designed to put out these fluffy seeds. This back row is what we call hard seeds, and they can be used in the back box or the cool season annual box on a native seed drill. You'll notice some of these seeds have been coated in a talcum powder because they were fluffy, but now they can be put out with the back box of the drill without any problems. After you've selected the species for your mix, the seed dealers will pre-mix your seed to make it easier for you to use. Now let's talk about seed storage. Seed will be delivered from your seed dealer in bulk bags such as these. When we talk about storage, all we're looking for is a cool, dry, pest-free place for up to one year. If seed is going to be stored longer than one year, you'll want to consider climate-controlled storage. Seed stored longer than one year should be retested to verify the seed quality in the bag. 